So Tucker Carlson is joining in on the fear mongering about supposed election fraud. Now, despite zero evidence that there was fraud sufficient enough to change the outcome of the 2020 election, well, Tucker Carlson is going to still claim that fraud is an issue. And watch what he says specifically about John Fetterman. He's going to imply that if John Fetterman wins, it's going to definitely be because of fraud. That's that's the subtext, right? He doesn't say this explicitly, but he's priming viewers to think about the race in this way. Let's listen. It's not about the person. It's about the party. It's not about the individual. It's about the group. And, to pr and we're two seconds in, but I just got to point out, he's saying this about Democrats, as if this isn't also the case with Republicans as, as well, as if there's no tribalism on the right. Give me a break. But they can even run mentally defective candidates who can barely speak and not only expect them to win, but expect you to accept the outcome no matter how transparently absurd it is. Okay, I'm going to pause it again. John Fetterman is not mentally defective. He had a stroke. His cognitive function is perfectly fine. It's being able to articulate himself. It's a hearing issue to my understanding. And furthermore, would he say the same, same thing about Herschel Walker, who quite literally has many mental issues? I believe that he has multiple personalities. Um, I don't know what the particular diagnosis is with regard to that. And I don't know if Herschel has that under control, but very clearly... Herschel Walker is cognitively uh, limited, but yet he's not going to say the same thing about Herschel Walker. It's not rigged if Herschel Walker ends up winning that race, only when the Democrat wins. On November 9th, they'll be telling you that John Fetterman got 81 million votes in Pennsylvania, and they'll threaten to put you in jail if you don't believe it. Why wouldn't they do that? They work with Joe Biden. Glenn Greenwald is an independent journalist. His work is on Substack. He joins us tonight. Glenn, thanks so much for coming on. There's something is Glenn going to come here to validate what he just said? Is Glenn going to push back against these bogus claims of fraud? No, of course not, because Glenn is a stooge for the right. He's going to be their useful idiot and do exactly what he knows that they want him to do. But look at this graphic here. Um, Fetterneck. Get it? Because he has a bump on his neck. I, I guess that's what it is. Um, and then also, if you're mongering about Biden. So this shit has just... It hasn't stopped. The election fraud claims just keep coming, and it's bad for democracy. I mean, I, I've talked about this on the show before. I don't know what else to say. Uh, I'm sick of this shit. We shouldn't be dreading elections every two and four year or two to four years, um, but we're going to because of these dipshit Republicans and propagandists like Tucker Carlson, who are overtly, you know, uh, fear mongering about fraud. So yeah.